Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at an operating system that I've actually never heard of and that I didn't even think existed. In this video we're taking a look at Super Nano 2000. Now I have no real background on this OS for you. I know that it is a lightweight version of obviously Windows 2000 based off the name. I don't know when it was created, if it was created back in the prime of Windows 2000, 2000, 2001, or if it was created after the fact, I have no idea. I just got it from archive.org and I'm excited to take a look at it today. On this channel, we have a history of taking a look at custom Windows builds, especially like the ones that are supposed to be lightweight. So I'm excited. You know, we're taking a step back. The oldest lightweight OS that we took a look at prior to this was Windows XP. And today we're going to take a look at one, one step back from that, Windows 2000. I'm excited to take a look at this. And this is not a good sign. Windows did not find any hard disks on your computer, which is okay. I have had this issue before. I don't actually know what hard drive type it takes. Uh, I'm going to assume it wants IDE, so we're going to just add an IDE disk. You would think that Windows 2000, because it likes IDE disks, that VMware would you know auto add one instead of a SCSI drive, but no, it, it just added the SCSI drive and not an IDE drive. So, and here we go. It has detected the SCSI drive that we added, the eight gigabytes. So let's add it. We're gonna format using NTFS and it is going. One thing I do wanna mention is that the ISO for this is 53 megabytes, which is, which is significantly smaller than the Windows 2000 original ISO. And the only two languages this came in from archive.org were Russian and English. So that is something fun. So I have a feeling that this was definitely made in Russia or by someone who was Russian, um, considering those are the only two languages. But here we go. We are now booting up Windows 2000 installer. Um, we're hopefully going to be able to get into the desktop and take a look at really what is, or I guess, well, what isn't on here. I considered Windows 2000 to always be relatively lightweight anyway, just because you know it's older, doesn't have as much bloat as modern systems do. But this one, I don't think that it has that much you know I'm here I'm just curious to see what they cut out of this OS to make it lightweight I have a feeling that we're now stuck in a loop like it's gonna keep booting from the ISO when it doesn't you know need to so I'm gonna get ready to disconnect it if we really need to let's see what happens yeah it I th uh, let's take this disk out and then restart the machine okay so let's see what happens now if we take out the CD DVD drive we reset and boot into the hard drive nothing oh boy I am having a lot of fun here right now you want to take let's take the SCSI drive out of the system Windows 2000 cannot start because of a computer hardware disk configuration problem so it is actually trying to install so let's try this one more time I'm not sure if this is just a Windows 2000 thing or a Nano 2000 thing or if I'm just doing this wrong and I suck at installing Windows 2000 which is also a very viable option. There we go. We're finally making some progress. So it looks like that SCSI drive that was built into the computer actually was throwing some problems. We are now booting into the Windows 2000 Professional. Alright and here we go. So we're going to go ahead and type our name which is uh, or Bill Gates here and we work at Apple. Um, it is going to name our system Apple, and we're just going to call it Mac. Uh, do we need to put in? Nope, apparently we can skip the admin password and get right through it. I actually can't remember how like long the typical Windows 2000 installer is compared to this. I feel like it's about the same, like nothing has really been taken out. I, I can tell you a bunch of stuff has been added from Windows 2000 to Windows 10 or Windows 11. You could never get through Windows setup this quick today. It would always go through a whole bunch more just garbage. So it said to remove any CDs, which we can disconnect. Let's boot up Windows 2000 Professional, and let's see what is in this Ultra Nano operating system. All right, so here we are. This is Super Nano 2000. I almost said 11. So. The first thing is let's see if we can get VMware tools on this so we can have a full uh, screen here. 
Um, can I see how much space? All right, so before even installing VMware tools, we're using 595 megabytes of space, which again, I don't know what that is in comparison to regular Windows 2000. I didn't really do my homework on this one. Setup was unable to upgrade the Windows installer, which is totally okay. We can probably just adjust the, let's see, screen resolution. Uh, most definitely we can. I lied, no we cannot, so we are gonna live with this. All right, so just straight off the bat, I can notice that we are missing the Windows 2000 bar. Um, in programs, we literally only have volume control, command prompt, notepad, Windows Explorer, nothing in startup. We have my documents and that is it. Going further, we have settings, which is you know typical settings, but I feel like this is also stripped down like we're missing some things. Uh, you have search for files or folders or search the internet. And then we also have run, which we can see this is Windows 2000 uh, build 2195. I don't think this is any specific service pack. Maybe I'm wrong though. Um, but yeah, very minimal. This actually, I don't want to say exceeded my expectations, but this has less than I thought it would. When I think of a true mini operating system, this is what I think of. This is what like Tiny 10, Tiny 11 should be. Having the literal bare minimum, very little, whatever is necessary to run the OS, and that's it. I mean, you have minimal things. I do believe, though, that Internet Explorer is on here. If we go on the Internet. Yep, there's Microsoft Internet Explorer. And I don't think it'll work because I don't think it has the proper networking equipment to get on the Internet. With that being said, this was just a brief overview of this crazy operating system. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe from your own here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.